Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how from a given date, you can find out its month and quarter based on financial year rather than calendar year. For example, if our financial year is from July to June, then July, which is the seventh month in a calendar year, will actually be the first month of the financial year. And June is going to be the last month. In other words, the 12th month of the financial year. Similarly, April to June quarter is going to be our fourth quarter and July to September quarter is going to be our first quarter. Now, how to get this? One alternative is of course the if function. But in my view, the better alternative is to work with the mod function and the roundup function. And that's what I'm going to show you now. But before I show you this, couple of things from a best practice perspective. So if our financial year is going to end in June, that's month six. So I'm going to have it in a separate cell. And I'm also going to name that cell here as YE month. Now, as far as the formula is concerned, this is what it's going to be. So I'm going to use a mod function here. So equals mod. Mod of what? Mod of the calendar month, which we can obtain using the month function, calendar month of the date, minus our year ending month, minus one. Mod function is essentially used to get the reminder. And so I have to specify the divisor here. And the divisor is going to be 12. Why 12? Because the year has 12 months. And to this, I'm going to add plus one. So January is going to be the financial month seven. And that's what I have here. And how to get the financial quarter? That's fairly straightforward. All we have to do is to round up. Round up what? We're going to round up the financial month divided by three. Why are we dividing it by three? Because a quarter has three months. That's why we are dividing it by three. And we're going to round it up to the next integer. So in other words, to zero decimal points. And that's it. We've got that too. In case if you want this financial quarter in text, that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to link it to the financial quarter and person. I want it to be followed by a cube and a space. So that's going to be within a double quotes. Ampersum, the financial year. So we are essentially establishing it through concatenating. And that's all. We are done. Now I hope that you find the logic for getting this financial quarter in text and the financial quarter to be relatively straightforward. The financial month is going to be slightly tricky. So I'll quickly explain how we get this. So for example, when I go to February, February is the second month of the calendar year. And from 2, when I reduce 6 and another 1, so that's 2 minus 7, is going to give me answer as minus 5. Minus 5 divided by 12 will leave me a remainder of 7. And that's what the mod function does. And 7 plus 1 is going to give me answer as 8. I'll explain this logic in much more detail in a separate video that will be dedicated to the mod function, which in my view is one of the most underutilized and underappreciated function in financial modeling. But I hope whatever I explained here, you find it useful. So if you like the video, then do spread the knowledge by sharing the video. 